Hey, welcome back everyone for another SANS ICS Security Brief. My name is Dean Parsons, Certified SANS Instructor for 515 and Co-Author and Instructor for ICS 418. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about network visibility and control systems. And specifically, I wanna talk about ICS network traffic capture options. So let's jump into our objective and the ways we can obtain this. Typically, the objective for network visibility is to get traffic from the control environment, in our case, to conduct things like ICS threat detection, also inform ICS specific incident response processes, and the bonus when you do get control system network visibility, this will also help the engineering staff with troubleshooting, et cetera. So network visibility in control environments is not just a security benefit, it also helps other uh, parts of the organization as well in the control environment. So to obtain network visibility, you have two main options. One is a five tuple capture, also known as the IP fix, or you have the option to get a full packet capture. Now, when we talk about the five tuple, it's easy to get, but you are somewhat limited. The five tuple is a set of five attributes in a TCP IP connection, and they contain your source IP address in the connection, your related source port for that connection, your destination IP address, and of course your destination port. And last but not least, the fifth component is your protocol being seen in that specific connection. These five attributes make up the network um, five tuple or also the IP fix as you may have heard of before. If we look at it in something like a free tool like Wireshark, we do see the source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port on 502 Modbus TCP, and of course the protocol being used here that Wireshark is dissecting. If we shift now from the five tuple to get more data and more visibility in the environment, we're shifting to the full packet capture. This of course includes your five tuple data we just described and the entire packet payload, everything on the network in those connections and conversations. So more specifically, it will contain all of the five elements we talked about in the five tuple. In addition, if any files are on the network, it will find and, and capture your file objects as well on the network. Beyond that, any kind of conversations or streams that devices are communicating on, you can watch and see that entire communication as well with a TCP stream. Beyond that, of course, you can get information such as the asset details on the network. Beyond that, the specific ICS commands being used. In the case of Modbus TCP, for example, with the full PCAP, you do get to see the function codes being used from the controllers to the HMI and so on and so forth. Even beyond that, Specifically, you can also get the ICS network configuration from some devices as well. So your full packet capture is really where you want to be if you have the storage and processing for it. It does require a lot more storage and processing, but when you do achieve this, you have full network visibility. When you do, again, the five tuple is there, but looking at the full packet capture in Wireshark, we do have all of the details, not just the packet header information, but as you see on screen, we have the Modbus TCP uh, connectivity information in the full payload. So we can see as an example, we have unit identifier and so on, and breaking down that specific PCAP, we can then further look at the function codes. In addition, just a reminder, what we wanna go for is the commands being seen and used in the environment. So with the full PCAP, you do get to observe the protocols you have in your ICS, OPC, ICCP, Modbus TCP, DMP3, 104, Goose Protocol, and so on and so forth. So to recap for today's brief, the five tuple is a great place to start, but it do not give you really what you're looking for to do the most effective ICS incident response or threat detection, but it's a great place to start. When you progress to full packet captures, you will require more space, but that's okay. Progress there when you can. And in general, either you go with the five tuple or your full PCAP, you're starting to obtain network visibility for the control system, and that is critical. So that's all we have for today. Super happy that you were able to uh, connect with me today and I'm hoping to see you in class soon.